One of our groups in Redmond has done a study really looking at how the, uh, you know, can we do a better job of predicting, you know, when people are in their homes and when they're away? Because that would obviously be, be a good way of knowing, you know, how, you know, how can we cut back their energy usage at home? Because obviously your home heating is a huge fraction of the energy that people use. So we know that if you ask people to sort of say, when am I likely to be home, when I'm likely to be away, and you fill out a chart with that, actually people are very bad at figuring it out. Yeah, they'll, I mean, they'll pad they, on they, each they, end they, heavily. Well, they pad, they, 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 you know, they have their, their idealized mental image of what they do, but it isn't actually what yeah. they do. And uh, so it, 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 we did, what we did in the study is they looked at, at people's actual GPS location mm -hmm. for this group of people they were doing the study on. And they compared that with their, with their you know, personal reporting. Mm -hmm. And they found that they could do you know, basically a factor of two better in predicting when they were going to be home, really? when they were going to be away, just based on their average behaviors. So you just you, you so predictive, you, not actual tracking with the GPS. Right. Like. Well, no, you 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 track this the, these people for some period of right. time, you know, and then from that point on, you just predict. Right. It's not you know, a daily because you basis. correlate it with a lot of factors. You correlate it with time of day. You correlate it with day of the week. You correlate it with weather. You correlate it with with holidays. You correlate it with special events. You know, so you can build a predictive model, and do effectively machine learning on that, and then use that. So that that's an example of you know being able to you know collect more information, or sort of more knowledge about what people are actually doing, and then using that to do a better job of thinking about how you would use energy or how would you, you would plan energy usage in a home. Um, we're doing, in our big data centers, one of the things we've done is to distribute sensors in the data center to look at you know, heat and, and power consumption and things of that sort. And airflow, well, airflow. airflow, not with Well, sensor. part of what you're trying to do there is you're trying to say, look, we, we would like to, at different points in time, you know, in the data center, you know, computations will tend to be concentrated in one part of the building or in another part of the building. What you'd like to do is to recognize when temperatures in one area are, are, are rising and effectively move the computation to other servers so that you can even it out and reduce your, your, your utilization of, of air conditioning. Um, and also, you, you might want to be able to spread your power utilization out. And so, so we've been doing those kinds of, of, of uh, um, experiments. We found that we can actually reduce power utilization in our big data center by like 30%. Really? By being able to be aware through sensors of what's actually happening in the data center.